Hey everybody, John Marion here. I am uh, posting this video to show you what has happened with the lumber prices um, recently and contrast that to compare that to uh, its past history in the last few years. Uh, so you can see from this chart that I'm sharing here that um, this is a one year chart, uh, lumber prices. This is, uh, I think, for a thousand board feet. Yeah, so for these prices are based on a thousand board feet of lumber. And you can see basically it's $400 uh, per 1,000 board feet, uh, dip down to 300 there, it looks like in um, March of this year. So that's when things, you know, because for coronavirus, things slowed down and virtually stopped for a short period of time. And uh, so lumber prices hit a somewhat historical low in, in the recent past. Uh, and then uh, kind of came back to where it was. And then it has just, you know, just shot up in July. And then this month in August, anyway, in August, it shot up like crazy. And uh, you can see tonight from 600, basically went from 400 to um, over 900 uh, per thousand uh, board feet. Uh, now it's back down to like 600. So it's coming down. It will come down. I think uh, when it was at a high, I'm speculating about this, but I'm sure there's very few builders that went out and bought lumber when it was that high. Really, everybody just stopped buying lumber. I think it was the speculators that uh, were probably trading commodities and futures and all that, that uh, you know kept pushing it up and pushing it up and pushing it up so to spike that high. It wasn't builders you know, uh, snatching up lumber to, uh, to build homes. I think they really, what I experienced in my market is the builders just stopped. They stopped buying lumber and putting lumber orders in, knowing that it would come down because it was a ridiculous spike. Uh, so anyway, it's back down to uh, 600. And if we look at a chart, uh, I think the five-year chart may show this. Um, let's see. Well, okay. It looks like it's working now. Uh, so let's go back here to the five-year chart. And you can see compared to the five years, um, how significant this recent price to over $900 is uh, compared to the previous spike which was just two years ago in May of uh, 2018, it spiked up to $600. So, you know, looking at this chart, looking at a five-year history, it wasn't, you know, bad to assume that the price would fluctuate between 300 and 600 and about $400 is kind of the average and maybe less than that. And then when it went up to five or 600, you know, it was normal to think, okay, we're kind of reached a spike and then it just shot up up to 900. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that because the historical spike is just incredible. Now, here's a 10-year chart, and uh, you can see that spike in 2018 again uh, and compare that. So we are in times now um, that are just uh, really historical for the price of lumber. Now, lumber has come down to $600 uh, for, per 1,000 board feet, and that's kind of the high, the historical high over the last 10 years. So it's come down to that high. and that that's what I'm gonna assume will be the top of the range moving forward. And hopefully it will come down over time, you know, well below $600. Uh, let's look at a 25 year chart and you can see even more how dramatic this is over 25 year time period. So I would expect that lumber would come down to less than $500. And, you know, if it, if it went down to 200, that would be, again, a pretty historical event. So I'm, I'm going to guess that 500 or less is something that may happen in the near future. Um, and, but we will see. I, you know, I, I'm not an expert on commodities and what's going on, but just my experience uh, in the real estate industry and um, what I experience in the economy and how that affects the real estate industry and what I know, the little bit that I know about uh, what we've all experienced in 2020. Uh, just gives me a sense that it's going to come down um, again as supply uh, increases, as um, more wood is harvested and um, and lumber is produced. Uh, so uh, anyway, looking at this last chart, this is a basically over a 40-year period of time. Uh, so you can see in 
you know, in the last 25 years, it really, lumber has bounced up and down between $500 and I'm going to say $200 um, for a thousand board feet over the long haul. So that's kind of where it goes, two to 500. So I'm expecting it to go uh, dip down into that 500 range and maybe it's not going to go down to 200 real quick unless there's some kind of event that would make that happen, obviously. But the normal course of events, it should should be selling for um, 500 and then go down from there. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this chart because uh, when I saw this, I'm gonna go back to the one year chart. Um, it, I thought it was a great visual uh, for those of you that haven't followed this or saw my last video on lumber prices. I think looking at this chart is really uh, meaningful. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them uh, below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Thanks.